Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we'll be using my trusty Raspberry Pi 3B as a NAS server using Open Media Vault. We'll also set up a couple of services within Open Media Vault. One is a YouTube downloader and the other is a DLNA server to allow us to stream to smart devices and VLC. We're also going to set up Docker and Portana to manage those Dockers. We'll set up a music server that also acts as a DLNA server, but also allows you to create playlists. We'll of course set up Plex, my favorite streaming app. We'll set up Pi-hole as well for our web filtering. And we'll also add a plugin that allows us to manage Pi-hole and just turn it off and back on just so that while we're web browsing, if we need to, we can disable that service. So now that you've seen the end result, let's wipe the micro SD card and set it up from the beginning. So we'll start with the Raspberry Pi imager. We'll choose an OS. We want to select Raspberry Pi OS Other and select the Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit, which is the bullseye with no desktop. We'll select our storage. And we'll also just go into these settings and we'll set our host name. We'll call it Pi as Plex. We'll enable SSH. We'll set our username and a password. Our local settings save and then select write and yes to confirm we want to overwrite the SD card now that the installation is finished we'll hit continue and close and cancel that and we'll put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and boot it up. I'd recommend you attach a keyboard and a screen to the Raspberry Pi to make it easier to get the IP address and bear in mind that during the installation of Open Media Vault on the Raspberry Pi the IP address will in fact change so the screen comes in very handy to grab that easily. Now that the Raspberry Pi has booted up, we can connect to the Raspberry Pi with SSH from the Windows command prompt. SSH Pi NAS Plex at 192.168.0.82. We'll enter the password that we set during the setup. That's all good. So first thing we want to do is an update. So sudo space apt space update and once that's finished a sudo apt upgrade hit yes to continue Now that the upgrade has finished, we can install Open Media Vault with this command. Just remember that the IP address does usually change during the installation, so it's handy having the screen connected up just to make it easy to grab the IP address. Now that the installation has finished, we can navigate to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. You'll notice it is now changed from .82 to .84. Type that into a web browser and you should be presented with the Open Media Vault login screen. Default username is admin and the password is Open Media Vault. Hit 
enter. And there you see, we are logged in. I'm just going to add some widgets to the dashboard. Just my preference. Now I've connected up an external hard drive. So if we go into storage, we should see a disk, which is 500 gig. Now I'm going to select the option to wipe the disk. We'll confirm. Yes, and select quick. And there we go, that's done. Next, we'll go to file systems. We'll create a file system. We'll select the disk that we've just wiped. We'll leave it as the file type ext4. Hit save. Once that's finished, click on close. We should now be able to mount our file system. And there we go. Click the tick to apply changes. For our installation, we need a couple of extras. So we'll select System, OMV Extras, and we're going to install Portana. Once the option appears at the end, select Close. The process of installing Portana also installs Docker, which is quite handy. I'm also going to go into the Users section and into Users. I'm going to select my user and I'm going to edit the user. The reason being the installation of Open Media Vault removes SSH access, which I'm just going to add in. So select SSH, hit save. Try that again. There we go. And then apply the changes. Now I'm also going to change the IP address. So we're going to network and interfaces. We'll select our interface and edit. Currently we're on DHCP. I'm going to change that to static and I'm going to set my own IP address of 192.168.0.105. There's a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and a gateway of 192.168.0.1. I'm not going to change anything with IPv6. I'm going to hit save. And then confirm the changes. So now you can see the IP address has updated. I'm going to log in to the new IP address. Open media. Vault. Uh, 
and I'm going to set up my dashboard again. And that completes the setup for this video. In the next video, we'll look at installing some media streaming applications.